Welcome to the wedding series. If you don't know, my name is Rowena Robinson Daly, <laughs> and I've just recently got married. And I thought I would do a wedding series just to help some of my viewers out. You see, when I was getting married, I never had a, any guidance as to what the process was in the UK and how to go about stuff. And you know what? Looking back on my day, I had the most amazing day. And thankfully, I have a personality that I know what I want and I go for what I want. But for those who don't, I think this series would be an excellent source of information. Showing you the varying details of marriages and the whole process that you've got to plan and you've got to think about and, and take into account. And I think by us sharing with you our journey it could help you as well if it's something you're interested in continue watching and if it's even not something that you plan to do but you just want to see continue watching hi guys so in this video i will be speaking about wedding videographers and photographers this was probably one of the most frustrating things to get sorted during this whole process because some some of the prices and some of the things that they were offering were absolutely ridiculous However, in the end, we did end up going for the correct photographer and I believe the correct videographer as well. So um, I will talk you through this. You will see our raw emotions and our frustration sometime during this entire process. But I hope you do appreciate this content because uh, when you're doing your wedding, um, getting your photographer and your videographer correct could be one of the main like bits to make sure your entire day is great. And literally a week after our wedding, we got our, our photographs and they were amazing hey guys so just want to give you a quick update it's actually the 22nd of may it is monday the 22nd of may how are we almost at the end of may already next month is june then july then august how that is crazy to me. Now we still need to select our photographer and our videographer and our DJ. So prior to this point, um, we were actually debating whether or not we wanted to have wedding photographers or videographers. Simply because, as I mentioned, we had no guidance on this and we were, you know, weighing up the odds of what the cost would be or our budget um, and if we really needed it because... We opted to not let this wedding be um, a no photo wedding. You know, sometimes you have weddings where you're not allowed to take pictures. We were like, no, let them take pictures, let the guests take pictures and stuff. So that's why we had waited so long because we weren't sure whether or not we had wanted. But once we decided, okay, we're going to go for um, photographer and videographers, we then started scouring uh, videographers and photographers in the area um because we didn't want to travel from far like we didn't want anyone to come in because obviously that would incur a travel cost and that would be billed to us as well so we started looking at instagram what i also did was did a story on my um like a poll or a reply a response one of them responses uh asking people to suggest photographers and videographers that they knew that were really good um but i would say as well like have your style a photographer that you want have a theme or kind of something that you're looking forward to so that whenever you receive these feedback that you will know what it is that you're looking for and who whose photography style best suits yours and what you are looking for then once you've gotten your list of potential photographers and videographers because always make a list never just go with the first or second always have a list understand that there's a number of things that you've got to find out the number one thing obviously would be your cost cost impacts a lot of things and once you've done your cost and also seeing that the style of photographer or videographer matches what you are looking for then there are other questions that you need to ask so you you know you have some essential questions to ask your videographers and so forth um have they ever done this before um do they have another photographer with them a second person a helping hand what what do they expect from you what are the payment plans um what is the return time for the photographers well for the photographs and the videos that they will be taking and how many hours what the different packages are and all the different um variations because 
honey this will all determine your package overall and the price that you pay all right and i have no regrets that i have booked um, my photographer and videographer for the day because i knew what i wanted and i'm happy i did because the photographs are actually came back already like on my second day of my honeymoon my photographer reached out to me to tell me that she had finished editing and all the photos were there already now i would say before you select or make a final decision ensure that you have asked all the personalized questions now there are some generic questions that you ask you cover cost you cover um, you know the questions I mentioned before, but there are some things that you would just want for yourself. Remember and make sure that you ask them. Remember, you and your partner should be coming together, um, creating your list and talking through every detail with your photographer. Um, because you know what? Sometimes when you compare prices, you will see how much, you know, one person was just going crazy and doing madness versus another person who was offering the same thing or even more things um with less of uh effect on your pocket so i would say definitely be careful when you're choosing because sometimes the, sometimes frankly i just think some of them are scams sometimes i'm just like there is no way you could expect someone to be paying that for the little that you're offering and at one point I was thinking, is it because I create content so I know that I could edit this and that because I know the background of it? Is it because I do that that I expect more? But then, no, like from my photographer and my videographer, I I realized I'm not expecting too much. Like, it's just being fair. So make sure that you are very vigilant when you, you do accept and go into a contract with these people. All right. But as I said, we did eventually choose our persons. But um, in this video, you will see us complaining about a, a set of people that we had uh, reached out to. They were on our list and it was just the pricing for what they were offering was crazy. We have our um, photographers and our, and our videographer distorted. I think I know who I want to go with um because the pricing is making sense like guys when i tell you that i've been looking at prices honestly like so that pricing for photography is extortion and videography right no yeah, man like, like yeah, i'm looking at these crazy. video prices right <laughs> and i'm having people saying okay i'll charge you a grant for this a thousand pounds yeah for his son right and um you're gonna get 25 minutes worth of video and i'm thinking and we're filming for eight hours and i'm thinking you're filming for eight hours and i'm paying you a thousand and you're telling me only 25 minutes of actual wedding footage i'm gonna get as the output make that make sense why would i do that then why not just film it myself and then at least i can make up as well like i feel like for me i want somebody to tell me i'm gonna do this and edit it and you're gonna get a probably an hour 30 minimum at least the full like ceremony in it i don't mind highlights from the like the reception but, but even the speech the reception i kind of want that yeah, yeah so yeah. at minimum an hour 30. <laughs> how are you gonna tell me that i'm gonna pay you thousand 15 minutes 15 <laughs> minutes and Last i'm paying you a thousand like oh, that to man. me is highway scamming what now so mm. but yeah so we're gonna sort that out now um and yeah after this we did have a meeting with um about five videographers um and uh, five photographers as well for the videos we went for this um person his name is sean sean ingram um but his his ig handle is s that i media um so we went for his um videography and for our photography, we went for Dion. Now, when it comes to Dion, I must say I would rate her 10 out of 10. Like, in terms of her response time on uh, when I messaged her on Instagram, plus how professional she was, um, and the fact that she understood what I wanted and delivered her turnaround time understand that two days into my honeymoon all these photos that you're seeing she said she said to me honey i am done and i was like honey what 
How are you done already? I mean, two days into my honeymoon. Understand this was probably a week later from my um, my wedding. Or a week and a couple of days after my wedding. Because I did go for my honeymoon like a week later. But the fact that she was done already. And look at these photos. She did not come to play. I must say. Like I am proper, proper uh, in awe. And proper satisfied and chuffed with the photos she sent. I got photos two ways. So she has a flash, a thumb drive that I told her I wanted the photos on. So she, is, she has posted that out to us. Plus she also had like a drop box of all these photos. And she put them in the different um, like photos. So whether they were after ceremony, before ceremony and so forth. I'm proper pleased with it. So I'm happy with our decision. All in all for this episode I would say my main takeaway point should be. Your wedding is a beautiful day and you do want to capture the moment. But do not let people scam you out of the money and don't go over budget with it. Like you can get amazing, affordable um, photographers and videographers who will give you your money's worth. I can't speak on my videographer as yet because I haven't gotten um, my videos or anything as yet. And obviously that was to be the case because, you know, that like videos take a, a little longer to process and, you know, they got to edit and all that stuff. And my wedding was, you know. But it was a full day. Um, but for my photographer, uh, yeah, 100%. Also, I must mention though that for my videographer, I did request that I have um, my reception live streamed. For my ceremony, it would have been live streamed because I did request this from the church on my platform. Both lives are currently on this very platform that you're watching YouTube. Yes, just go on the live section, you can see it. So I must say big up to him for that as well because... That wasn't really a part of the options. I wasn't planning. As I mentioned earlier, you guys need to have your own bespoke things that you want and make sure you include it when you have these conversations with whoever you're speaking with. Um, and, and I said to him, I wanted this live stream. Are you able to provide this? And he had to actually hire out another person to come and monitor the live. But he did make it happen. And he added that extra cost to it. And you know what? I am very grateful for, for that. So big up, Sean. He allowed us to allow our families who weren't able to physically be there to be able to watch it whilst it was happening and the fact that I still have those memories to look back on um right now and I can go along with even the very people who were there are telling me that yo Ro I literally go on this every day and I go rewatch it because it was amazing so I thank him because it was not part of whatever he was offering it was his package or anything but I he he rectified his package to suit me and I think that for me was a main indicator that yeah I wanted to work with this person because he was willing to readjust based off what I needed and I appreciated him for that and for not killing me as well in terms of the costing and so forth but yeah guys um just let this be your heads up uh when you're looking have a list always in every single thing I do I have a list don't always go for one or two have a list of at least five I would say and then you start doing your research and then you can eliminate accordingly based off budget, based off the offerings, and just any extras that they're willing to give. Also, I did want to mention that we did a first look. So before we actually got to the church, people I think people still don't know that we did a first look. So we actually met in a section of the park that we had gone to, like, previously on our park walks and stuff and we did a first look so he saw me before he saw me at the altar in the church because I wanted this to be private special moment and captured and my videographer was here so Sean so you would you would, see, you would have seen him cross the, the the thing just now the screen um and for this I also requested that he brought a drone and got some aerial footage and then he did this and saw Mervyn's reaction for the first time and so forth. Um, I will put this out in a video shortly so you can actually see his reaction and hear what we're saying to each other and whatnot. And I do want to big up, make special mention to big up Rachel Brown, Jerome Brown, my sister Sabrina, and of course Sean and uh, Mervyn's Bentley driver or Jared for the day it was Scott. Um, I want to mention my, my amazing husband because this was my idea. I wanted to do a first look and everything. And he's like, wait, what's that? And then I, I, 
I shared it and so forth and I gave him the vision and everybody just kind of came into it and just allowed me to have what I wanted for the day so while you guys were maybe on your way to the church or at a church or whatever it was no on the way because the church had so our first look was at 2 p.m and the church service started at 3 so this was happening in the park at 2 p.m um but yeah so Sean actually um allowed this to happen well not allowed because it's my day but he uh, actually facilitated this for me with my request for the drone and so forth so um yeah i can't wait to see the video once he, he has edited it and i've been hearing like bits and pieces of what he did when i wasn't around so he took my bridesmaids and my mom and so forth asking them to leave out a message and so forth and i thought that, that was pretty cute but you guys will see that at some point and i hope you're enjoying the wedding series so far this is just showing you like uh, what was on mervyn sucks and so forth so this all happened in the first look and you guys most likely should see a video coming out soon with that first look or just me filming on the day because i did film on the day as well but yeah guys that's all for this episode um and yeah i'll just leave it to finish but i hope you guys have been enjoying these other uh, things food sorted dress sorted his his suit is sorted chef's kiss my dresses are sorted i could be a wedding planner you know like hit me up if you want to have a bang on wedding like planning just just make sure you know what you want because that annoys me when people don't know what they want but if you know what you want and you need a little bit of assistance hit me up i got you boo